Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Psyche Chat Podcast. You're joined by the co-host Elijah once again today. Yo, yo, yo. And we are back for episode three. We know we're moving a little slow on these podcasts, but we had a couple of things come up between each one. Well, the, the second one, Elijah couldn't make it, so we ended up recording it on a Saturday. And then this one that we're currently recording right now, it is actually only Tuesday. So, I'm Yuki, my rabbit. <laughs> Yuki, my rabbit, is running around right now. <laughs> but, um, basically, Elijah has a upcoming surgery. If you want to talk about that, Elijah, you don't have to give um, detail. Just, uh, anything you want to say about that? Um, Friday, I will be getting surgery on my right knee, and, because uh, I tore my ACL, my meniscus, mm. and I hope it all goes well. They're going to knock me, me out. <laughs> Imagine you walk in, hey, I'm here for my knee surgery. Here, sit down, here, well, here's a juice. Yeah. You're just sipping on the orange juice. <laughs> I'm just some big dude just knocks you the fuck out and you just wake back up here in a little knee cast brace and you're like what the fuck happened oh why does my jaw hurt <laughs> oh sorry uh we had Brutus over here knock you the hell out the gas wasn't seeming to work <laughs> what do you mean when did you give me gas sir this entire room is coated <laughs> sleeping gas that's why we all wear masks you walked in, unaffected. We needed Brutus. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we fixed your teeth while you're at it. <laughs> so uh, how's your week so far, man, Elijah? I'm doing all right. I don't. All right. <laughs> all right. I'm liking where this is going. It's been all right. You know? <laughs> Just life. Don't... Yeah, don't do much. I don't even go out much. I feel that. I feel that. I, Cause I go to work and then I, I come home and then I just I'm I'm on here. <laughs> I'm a homebody, so I don't know. Dude, oh my god, you don't even understand. Like going through school, it's just like I was so antisocial, bro. I was just like where I'm at right now at my little station. This is home base for me, bro. <laughs> I understand you completely. I was always fucking here. Dude, the amount of hours that I poured into my Twitch in my um original YouTube just insane. I wish I still had some of the content. That Twitch content at least. Insane amount, like early Fortnite days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my goodness. But uh I hope your week picks up in a positive manner. <laughs> and I wish you well on your surgery. Appreciate it. Um obviously, you know, I can't say much about a knee surgery, but I can say that having my appendix taken out something they, they went inside my eardrum they took skin from outside of my ear like a pinch and they put it inside of my ear somewhere and i've had surgery on my i don't know if it was surgery i don't think i don't think they really did much for my broken arm and or it was a broken left wrist and then fractured so i can't really say at all how that's gonna feel but I I can just say that from the amount of surgeries I went through I believe you'll be all right I believe you will will power through it you just gotta stay the hell off your leg bro yeah that's gonna be the, the hard part cuz like when you are restricted to to a certain area you know being an injury or illness or like just because you have to I, I don't know what that would mean like me because like you live in a small area or like you have a small room or space I, being restricted to one spot in particular 
it's like you just you want to get up more <laughs> oh yeah you ever had that like oh you gotta just sit in this chair like like you know you can watch tv go to the bathroom like all you gotta do is sit in the chair but it's just like when that task given to you is sit in the chair you just want to get up <laughs> okay. yeah i'm bored sitting in the chair right you go outside <laughs> Yeah, I understand. But yeah, you, 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 I, I will come down to fucking Las Vegas and slap the shit out of you. <laughs> you, better stay what off, you better stay off that knee once you get the surgery. <laughs> of course I will. And, and of I'm course, if you're uh, bored, you know, I'm usually free whenever I get off of work. <clears throat> I mean, and we got to we got Christmas coming up too. Oh man, it's coming in hot too. Thirteen so I, days. So your surgery is when the eighteenth? The sixteenth. Sixteenth. Okay, two Friday. days off. Yeah. Okay. So following your surgery, it'll be the weekend, and then the week into Christmas, like that weekend. Yep. yep. I see it as my Christmas present. Yeah. See? Positive endings for your surgery. So, you, you know, once you get that bullshit out of the way, you get up, and good tidings, sing the wells, the sprinkle the little white powder on the twiddle of your nose bullshit right around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I actually do, actually, I actually do love the Christmas aesthetic. Like, JoJo and I, we went on a date the other day, and she took me, well, I actually met her parents for a dinner at a different location. And this was like another like little like uh, I don't know what to call it like a little like center like a little center had like a bunch of stores everywhere, but mm. the center had like a giant Christmas tree. It was decorated and everywhere, and they had lights and it was, you know they had music. There was like these public fireplaces that you could sit by. It was nice. There was a gazebo with lights, and then, um, we had dinner, and then she took me. Out on a, she wanted to surprise me, and she ended up taking me down to Ellicott City, and we ended up walking around and seeing, you know, a couple of the stores, and it, they had it decorated around certain parts of the city too. It was nice, but uh, she ended up buying, what was it called, Cra Crazy Mason. She bought us this. It was like this TikTok milkshake called Crazy Mason. It's basically like. These big obscene milkshakes, and the one we got was this cookie crumble one. It was like, it was like, oh, I don't even remember the flavor of the milkshake. Honestly, it, I can't recall the flavor of the milkshake at all. But it had like cookie crumble all over, it, like actual cookies crumbled up, and it had this whole ass brownie on top of it. <laughs> so we just took the oh, brownie man. slice off and ate spoonfuls of the ice cream milkshake, whatever, with the brownie pieces. <laughs> like, Went there, and I found this one little gaming store. It had whole ass Nintendo 64s and GameCubes for only a hundred dollars. You best fucking nice. believe I'm going the fuck back there and getting me one of them. They had, <laughs> they had a Japanese edition Mar uh, Super Mario 60 or Super Smash Brothers 64 in brand new in their display case for thirty bucks only. I was like, what? What? I was so mad. What? I was so fucking mad. <laughs> Why were you so fucking mad? God, I couldn't get it right there. Oh. <laughs> but then we ended up going to this place called EC Pops. So there was like a lot of popcorn and goodies and whatnot. So I ended up getting us a couple of goodies from there. And she got a couple as well. And then, you know, we just walked around. And I, we eventually got cold. She kept saying she wasn't cold, but I could tell she was cold. I was not. Yes, you were. You were like, I was shivering, but you were also shivering too. I was not. She is such a liar. We nice bought these, one. we bought these little glass animals that are handmade. One of them's a dove. One's a donkey. One's a lobster. One's a lizard or a chameleon. Um, Joe, what else did we get? We got the dove, donkey, lobster, chameleon, uh, a ram, and no, there's six of them. That's five. What else did we get? The bunny. There's a bunny. But yeah, we got. We just got a couple of little goodies. 
But yeah. You know, my surgeon's going to turn me into a half robot. Bro, this man said, I hold my beer. I'm going cyborg. Because <laughs> I'm going to have <laughs> screws in my knee. So. My man's going to be, yo, you better chill out. You're going to be running, you'll be running around playing with Jackie out in the rain. You're going to be struck by fucking lightning, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> I have the power! You point your fucking big toe up towards the sky. <laughs> uh, that's, that's good. Speaking of, you know, it actually goes perfectly into our next topic. What's your favorite type of weather? My favorite type of weather is the cold. More, more detail, explain. The cold. Like, um, what type of cold are we talking here? Are we talking, like, below zero ice and snow everywhere? Are we talking, like, 30, 40 degrees? Are we talking 20, 10? What, what are we talking 30, about? 30. Blech, why do you like it so cold? What's wrong with you? Because I hate the heat. I hate the heat, Especially too, but you ain't got to be in that goddamn cold-ass weather all the time. So you're telling me if you could be in a weather all, like, 24-7, right? All right, also, I know I said your favorite, but if we could switch up the question. If what? you had to stay, <laughs> what? What do you do? Instead of going on his ladder, I just watched the fucking jump from the second level down. I didn't want to run. <laughs> but if you had to pick your favorite type of weather to stay in for the rest of your life, what would it be? So that would be temperature, whatever effects are going on. And I guess we'll say day and night as well, since that does have a big effect well, on weather. Forever. Forever. I'm going to take that fall weather. Fall weather? Because, yeah. So, 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 so day or nighttime forever? Yeah. Which one? Forever. No, no, day or nighttime. Like, which one you have to oh, pick? Oh, day or nighttime? Uh... Nighttime. Forever? Forever. Forever. They're in the fall. Yeah. That could still be pretty chilly. That's like that beanie glove sweater or hoodie jacket weather. I could. Alright, if I had to pick one permanent weather for the rest of my life during a day or a night, it would be. All right, so let me establish my favorite first, like you, yours. My favorite weather that like comes around here and there is when it's sunny and it drizzles. Like it's warm, you can feel the sun and the warmth, and it's just drizzling, like these nice glistening drops, just drizzling. There's like you can barely see any clouds in the sky, but it's still drizzling. Like I love that. And then what? What? Were you about to say something? No. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's that's probably like my favorite, but if I had to choose a type of weather to stay in for the rest of my life, I would say I mmm cuz like <laughs> See, there's a lot of cool stuff you could do in the snow. You know, if I were to say like like a snowy type weather, I can snowboard all the time, and I can have a hot tub, jacuzzi. But then I could go the other route. It could be super hot, and I could have like a pool, you know. Hmm. hmm. But you don't want to stay in the pool forever. See, your weather fall. I don't think there's really much you could do besides a jacuzzi or a sauna or some shit. And that's hmm. okay with me. <laughs> Hops in a cold ass shower. Oh yeah. <laughs> Propped open the window. <laughs> I hate cold showers. Bruh, I I tried taking an ice cold shower. I know some people are gonna call me a bitch, but I, I don't usually do it all the time, so I was just like, fuck it. I was sore from work. So I hopped in and I, I clicked it over. And this is a time where I was like making myself like forcing myself to do it from like the first couple of times I did it for 30 seconds, and after that I'd do it for like a minute or two. But I'd be like, 
I'd be like barely able to fucking breathe under that cold ass water hitting me so quick. <laughs> as soon as the cold as soon as the cold ass water hits me, I'd be wanting to get the hell out. <laughs> well, sometimes you know I got them old ass water lines where like someone else uses the water and it makes your your uh, water pressure go down. And on top of that, it steals the temperature. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'll be showering, and somebody will like simply flush the toilet, or you know, it, only when JoJo's in there with me, obviously she'll flush the toilet and the fucking shit. Or somebody will run the sink, or the washer, and the shit is just gone. That that the pressure is just dead, bro. <laughs> like, let me water, let me water the plants outside while you're showering, and it's just like it's like somebody's gonna have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Why? Well, it's not crazy. I just understand that, you know, it's just an older house. Older houses are like that. But, what can you do, right? Right. Speaking of older shit, let's try to throw back on some GTA memories. What you, what you got, what you got on GTA 5, San Andreas, Vice City? What, what, what is, what is, what are some, just any memories you got? I remember... Here, I'll start us off. I remember when I finally remembered my first set of cheat codes and had a list that I wrote down taped to my fucking wall for San Andres. <laughs> Ooh, my God. There was like this gravity one, super jump, strength, all the guns, unlimited ammo, gave money, <laughs> uh, wanted level, God mode. Fuck, man. I enjoyed that game so much. There's there's one where you could turn everybody into clowns. <laughs> <laughs> I love San Andreas, dude. And five, five. Most of my memories are online. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't really play. Like, I played in the story mode cheats. Like I I remember the uh, fast fall. It's a uh, left bumper, left trigger, right bumper, right trigger, left, right, left, right, and then you repeat that again. And it'll send you into a um a godfall. Like it'll just mm. you'll just you'll just start skydiving. Um skydiving. But uh that's one of the the ones I played around with a lot during God mode. I love doing that one, just flying out in the sky and see where I'd land. But most of my memories for GTA five are actually online. Most like all of them. I was playing GTA five online back on the three sixty and I was actually recording like I stated once in my other podcast I think the first one I was recording my um my TV with a selfie stick so that's actually how I got general like generally most of my GTA content back on my 360 when I was younger mm. yeah those were the days man I remember playing car sumo that we had this uh there's this custom map on the main Brit on like the highway bridge by the military base Mm -hmm. That bridge, yeah, it's over the water. And that was like a car sumo map. We played so fucking much, dude. Like, I've seen amounts of time I spent on that map with my friends. And randoms. Just, just, oh man. That was like the money farm right there. <laughs> How about you? Um. Shit, I started playing GTA 5 when I was like a teenager, so... It was pretty. I, th I thought it was, I had fun times on GTA 5. Um, I liked I like doing the missions a lot. The online ones or the uh, story mode. Both story mode and online. But my favorite my favorite uh, missions is online. Dude, for as long as GTA 5 has been out, I can't say I've ever actually completed GTA story mode. I have. But you because know, I can't wait. The account I, I actually wait. have now. What were you saying? I can't wait till GTA 6. <laughs> the account I have now is the same account that I actually was able to get back from my 360 days. And back in my 360 days, I was playing the hell out of GTA 5 story mode. And I was actually... I'm pretty sure the last heist, you're on like this giant cargo ship. And eventually a helicopter comes in. And yeah. Well, I remember being on, I remember being on that heist, and I just 
I never got through it because at the time I needed space for another game. I can't remember if it was Dragon Ball Xenoverse or um, if it was Black Ops 3 or shit. What else did I play on the 360 at the time? Rainbow Six Siege? I don't think it was Siege. It was definitely for Xenoverse or Black Ops 3. I'm going to say both of them. That I deleted, eventually deleted GTA 5 because people stopped playing as much. They're all in Siege at the time. And I played Siege for a little bit. I had it still, but I deleted GTA to get the other two. <laughs> and when I got back into GTA, I went to go play my story mode progress and it deleted, but it saved my online progress. So that's when I eventually switched it over to my PlayStation. When I got my PlayStation, got back into it. I've actually gotten back into it so many times, it's just more recently I actually decided to record myself. Once again, in GTA. But, uh, mm. yeah, I just don't have too many people to play with anymore. Yeah, GTA is well, I play GTA, a golden so... memory for me. <laughs> I still uh, play GTA. I would, but it's just like, I don't know. It. It gets old when I'm playing by myself all the time, and then, like, I, I can't help it. <laughs> Excuse me. I can't help it. I don't think they can help it either, but me and my friends are just so susceptible to rage. We are so susceptible to rage. And it's just, like, when we get heavily competitive in the GTA game, somebody ends up leaving, and it's just over at that point. It's just fucking over. <laughs> we get way too competitive in that game, dude. That's of most of the games I play, though. Most games that I, I... There's only a couple I got freaking highly competitive, like Rage Issues competitive. That would be like For Honor. I never got too bad at Rainbow Six. There was times where I was like, you know, yelling. But I never like got physical and broke anything over rainbow for honor though on the other hand jesus christ <laughs> i broke too many remotes on that game <laughs> too many <laughs> too many <laughs> um what other games have i broken remotes over you broke remotes over video games for real dude yeah nine over for honor alone and then um my 360, I, th I think I broke two, and that was definitely over. What, what, what could that have been over? Maybe Dragon Ball Xenoverse. I was heavily into that game, one and two. And then, um, mm. yeah, online in that game is hard, dude. <laughs> but, um, shit. A couple of Wii remotes on Smash Brothers. Uh, that was only because me and my brother would either hit each other or break something. And that something would be a Wii Remote. <laughs> we got competitive. Oh, well, yeah. Yes, I have broken dozens <laughs> of remotes on games. <laughs> Sadly. Alright, hitting you with a, a quick one. What's the best toppings on pizza? Um... Pepperoni. Yeah, I'm, I'm heavily biased. But, like, if it's, like, pepperoni, bacon, Philly cheesesteak, or the Philly steak or whatever, ham is all right. Uh, pepperoni. Pineapple. Eh. Eh. I'm on the fence of pineapple. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's great. It depends. I might, it depends on pineapple on pizza. Really depends. Pineapple. I can have a strange Pineapple craving for it here and there, but it, that's it, it depends for me. Onions, all right. Okay. I don't know about mushrooms, uh, black olives, or um, what else do they put on pizza? Plain cheese. Plain cheese is, I mean, it's just cheese pizza. I mean, I'm not saying it's the best, but if I had to choose between, like, a supreme pizza with all that shit on it and a cheese pizza. I definitely go with the cheese pizza. You don't like supreme? 
Hell no. If that if if Supreme had like what what's usually on Supreme? It's like peppers and peppers, mushrooms, olives, onion, and onion. Yeah, subtract all that besides the onion, and we're good. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't do all that. I don't know. I just it doesn't doesn't go. Oh, it just doesn't go well with me. Anyways, but uh, sorry, dog threw me off. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> um, dog's barking at the cat. Jeez. Last time we've been to an amusement park. Amusement park? Um. Let's see. Last time I was a teenager and I went to. Uh, King's Dominion. It was pretty oh. fun. It was pretty fun. Um. Hella rides there. I've also been to. Uh. Six Flags. I've been to Bush Gardens. Oh. Um, I think I've been to Bush Gardens. I th have I? I can't even remember. No, I've been Six Flags. I've been. You've been to, to Medieval Times? No. No? No, I've never been to Medieval Times. Really? Really, but I want to go. I, it's hype. I know people say it's trash, but like. It's just like one of those things you experience once, you know? Right. Once or twice. Like, I had green team when I went. And my guy had to face... Well, he did like all the, the games and whatnot. And it was time to fight. My guy won one fight. Got in the second fight. And his character got stabbed. And he ended up winning. And then he like, was like, acting like a champion. And then out of nowhere, the last contender came in and killed him. <laughs> oh! 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 So now you're barking like a dog? Yeah. Hey, Yuki. Yuki's not impressed with me right now. Are <laughs> you barking like a dog? Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> But, um, Six Flags, the last time I've been to Six Flags was probably, Joe, what was that, two years ago? Three years, three years ago? Around three, three and a half years ago. But before that, I can't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's only because JoJo came in clutch. She had the season passes from her parents. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But, um. It's probably the last time I can actually remember going to, like, an amusement park or anything like that. I mean, I've, like I said, I've been to Six Flags, like, here and there, like, three times, four times. I've been to Medieval Times once. I want to um, go to Disney World. Never been there. JoJo has been, been to Disney either. World. Go. Lucky her. <laughs> Lucky her. She's been to Disney World. Um... But, uh, let's see what else we got on here. Shit, I'm about to delete the wrong thing. Oh, we're just an interesting one. When was the last time you paintballed or airsoft? Uh, the last time I paintballed was when I was in Virginia, which was, I was, like, about 16. Mm -hmm. And it was outdoor. I enjoyed it. I kicked most of the people's ass <laughs> so and so the one I did was for my friends I want to say how many friends do we have there one two three four five six seven and then plus his family we had like 12 people right and it was mm -hmm. my friend's birthday and this is a big bachelor's party. Like, 18 people. They're all playing their own game. We finish our, you know, we play our paintball game, whatever. You know, we're leaving. And 
they offered to do this gauntlet run where whoever's birthday it was, which was my friend at the time, they had to run without no gear or as much gear as they choose to not have on. And they run in a straight line in front of everyone lined up. And they just go da, 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 and unload the rest of the ammo that they have left out there all the games. Mm. Let me tell you, dude. He regretted it instantly. So he started running. He was jumping, spazzing, and he started powering through. And about halfway through, he just fell to the ground. And then he went and hid behind a tree. When he when he came back, he was he looked, he was cheetah printed, bruised, with paintballs because he decided to go with no gear. He went shirtless, no gear. He only had the helmet. Oh wow. Yeah, so he looked like a cheetah. For how many how many paintball marks and welts that he had all over him. Paint paintballs hurt really bad though. Oh yeah, no gear, dude. I was chilling. I got eliminated. It was the uh, second round. Some dude. Some dude, ooh, excuse me. Some dude jumped up and shot me in the helmet above the the barricade, which was pretty smart. But that happened. I was sitting on the sideline, and then a paintball from a stray game behind me came and hit me in my ass. And I was like, oh! I was like, oh, shit! And I just sat there holding my cool in. I looked around. I was like, yeah, that hurt. <laughs> I got hit a couple of times, like my arm and body. Well, that's really it. Mm. Yeah, all right. And then airsoft. Oh my god! You want to know some wild stories? I have this one yes, insane story. So this is back when I was way younger. I was probably fourteen, fourteen, give or take. So that was, you know, over six years ago. And I lived in this complex at the time. And basically, me and this neighborhood, like, me and, like, the neighborhood kids that lived around the area, we would all play airsoft and whatnot. And we'd make up different games. And eventually, we pissed off this one neighbor because a BB hit her window. <laughs> so... We ended up moving to this little field next to the woods that was literally right outside the complex. So we've, and there's this like wooded area next to it that has trails and trees and it's nice for playing airsoft in. So we'd play there. And one time, this, this was before we eventually moved to the woods in the field. But one time we were playing airsoft and everyone went inside and it was just Jason, you know, uh, my friend Jason and I, which JC should be on the podcast next time. And we're playing airsoft with each other. You know, we're just two innocent ass kids. I, I remember just clearly I had my tablet playing Spotify on the playground <laughs> and we're just playing airsoft. We didn't even have enough BBs to keep like sh like fucking actually playing. We had to pick them up and fuck our guns up, pick them off the ground and cleaning them off. They reuse them. Yeah, like we, we we couldn't really do much, but we you know we were having fun as kids, and me and Jace are just chilling. And eventually we got cold and we're like, "You want to go inside?" Yeah, let's go inside. And we're walking towards the door to go in, to go into the apartment building, and we start hearing like walkie talkies and shit and me and him are like the hell is that i was like i don't know let's go inside let's put our shit down go on your porch and see what's going on so we go inside he lived on like the second or third floor or whatever we go we go into this apartment <laughs> dude tell me why we saw oh my god there was like there was like 10 to 12 people dude i shit you not ars smgs uh, the SWAT was there. They they were there looking for me and Jace. <laughs> because somebody called on us saying that we were like two people trying to bust in somebody's apartment with real guns. And they the the descriptions for us were were two tall males wearing all dark clothing. Him and I had like this like red and blue shirt on, and we had like the airsoft gear that that was like the only gear we had on that was black. So, like, we were wearing bright colors and stuff. And this was around Christmas. So, like, I'm pretty sure I had a, a Santa hat on. But, basically, they called and they're looking for a description of two tall males wielding guns. You know, trying to bust into somebody's apartment. 
me and him were like, like I said, we're all right, back to when we're on the porch. We're on the porch. We watched 12 men with some, with a, one of them had a dog and another one was posted in front of the apartment building with a dog and another one had a SMG. And they all walk into the, to the room where me and Jace went in and they're searching this building and whatnot. I'm like, Jace, holy shit. And he's like freaking out. So I was like, all right, look, I got to run home real quick, but I'll be right back. <laughs> so we put all this stuff in his room. You know, like I said, it was just airsoft guns and they had the orange tips. You know, you could clearly, we, we, we were playing around the neighborhood for a long time. So like, you know, this was just like a spur of the moment. I, we have no clue why it happened, why, why the neighbor eventually called on us. Maybe we pissed her off the window. Oh, yeah, we did find out. We found out that it was the same chick who we hit the window before. She was the one who called on us. Damn. So, yes, yes, I can actually, yes, I remember it. Because I was talking to my dad, and I went home, and I told him what was going on. I said, Dad. So, the, so by the time I went and got over to where I lived, they had roadblocks and a helicopter, and they had people searching the entire complex. Everywhere I walked, there was just patrol cars going around. And... I go inside, I go, Dad, there is SWAT, there is a helicopter, I said, there's dogs, they're armed to the teeth, I said, I'm pretty sure it's because of me and Jace. <laughs> so, he ended up going out and talking to them, and they all got called off, you know, it was all simmered down, and whatever. And I go back over to Jace's house, and I said, we're good, I said, it was handled, we're not in trouble, I said, they know it was just airsoft now. And me and him, just to this day, are just like, we talk about it, like, we could have got lit up, dude. If we were out there playing still, like, something in our heads didn't tell us to go inside, we would have got fucking probably lit up or detained or something, you know? Right. That, that was, that's an insane airsoft story right there. That, that was, that, that was probably one of the last times I picked up an airsoft gun. <laughs> I still have an airsoft gun, it's just one of those crappy little spring-powered ones. But that's it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Cats or dogs? What do you cats prefer? Dog. Dogs. I hate cats. You hate cats? Why do you hate them? I hate cats. I have a little story. So, uh oh. Um. Dude, I've been attacked was, by wild cats I was, and I don't hate them. I was a little kid, right? And I saw this cat in my neighborhood. This was back in Florida, and I didn't know it was pregnant at the time. Uh -oh. So I was trying to pet it. I thought it was just a fat cat, but it turns out it was pregnant. But I kept trying to pet it and pet it. It, it was hissing at me, and <laughs> I was still trying to pet it because I, I didn't know the, that the cat was pregnant. I didn't. And <laughs> the cat say so, fuck off, and you're like, oh, come here. <laughs> and so the cat took uh, put its claws out and it dug its claws into my wrist didn't let go until i pulled off until i uh yanked my yeah arm yeah back. yeah 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 i've had the same experience bro they when the wild cats latch their claws in your arm it's fucking over like you gotta yank your arm away pull their paw off or something like them bitches fucking Sinking talons, my guy. <laughs> but I mean, I've had a couple of run-ins with wild cats. Most of them are good experiences. When I was younger and, and ignorant, I guess I did the same thing. I didn't back the fuck off when it hissed at me. But yet, it stayed around me. So I, I don't know. But same experience here. It, it, you know, eventually put its paw out. It pawed me, and its paw got stuck in my fucking arm. <laughs> it got stuck in my wrist, and my once I let. Once it let go, my wrist started bleeding. See, I'm on the fence with this whole cat dog thing. Because I used to own a cat before I had Gemma. But Gemma is like, she's my fur baby now. So it's just like, damn. But if I had to currently pick what's my favorite right now. I mean, I love cats. I love big cats. You know, like lions, tigers, pumas, panthers. All that shit. I love them. But like, I don't know. No. I just, uh, a dog... It's a man's best friend. Like, mm -hmm. they give you. Un that's the only thing in this world that will unconditionally love you. Right. And that's something a lot of people don't deserve. I, mean, and I think that's why I think I love dogs more. 
I love dogs. Although my favorite wild animal is a cheetah. A cheetah? Yes. Mm. <laughs> jaguar. I watched a fucking jaguar fight a husky on a video the other day and the husky scared it off. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, what's the last movie you've seen in theaters? Hmm. Um, the last movie I've seen in theaters was Scream 5. Hmm? Scream 5. Scream 5? Yeah. I think the last movie I've seen in theaters... Joe, we, we saw... We saw... We saw, uh... Detective Pikachu... We saw... I've seen that too in theaters. In theaters. Oh, dude, it's been Detective. a while since we got... What else have we seen in theaters? Like, was it... Did we go to... Did we see anything at the Detective Pikachu? We saw the nine, saw Spider-Man, Wolfie Bird. Uh, uh, the Spider-Man. The, the, the animated too. one, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guess what? Every movie you watched in the theater, you fell asleep. Shut up! I am easily susceptible to falling asleep in during movies. It is hard. <laughs> I'm just knocked, bro. I've never fallen asleep in the movie theater. Bro, I'm knocked. I'm fucking knocked. <laughs> All right. Speaking of movies, Rush Hour Four comes out soon, or it's in the works to come out next year or whatever. I'm hype. I'm hype. <laughs> Me too. And the plan still remains. Joe and I are just going to get a couple of snacks and drinks and you, Jackie, Joe and I are just going to watch all three rush hours in a row. Like, me and her want to watch them, but we've been holding off on watching them just, just for that moment. Just to make it mm -hmm. better for us when we finally watch it with you guys. But yeah. Oh, what else have we got? All right. Travel experiences. I know we talked travel before in a different one, but let's talk about stuff we've went to go see. I mean, I don't, I haven't like, I don't know if I've stated, but I haven't really been out of Maryland that much in my life. But oh, excuse me. JoJo is taking me to go see the Kenzoa Bridge in PA. She's taking me to see Penn's Cave, and she's taking me to a couple of malls that I haven't been to before. So I thought that was nice. Travel wise, I mean, she, I, she's taken me on my first like, I think I've stated this before in another podcast, but yes, it was like my first public bus, not like a school bus, and um, she wants to take me to this, to this like a uh, dinner or restaurant, or whatever. It's on water, right? It's a restaurant on water. You said. That one restaurant you wanted to eat at in PA? Restaurant on water? Yeah, I, I, I had to look more into it, but you were showing me pictures of like how they have like, they'd serve you drinks and um, food and your feet were in the water or something. That was an ocean city. Oh, that's Ocean City? Favorites. Hey, I can't remember. I'm not a TikTok specialist. <laughs> you told me you found me on TikTok. A lot of me. TikTok. Talk tick. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite type of video game, Elijah. Favorite type of video game? If we had to go single player or let's let's actually exclude that. First person, third person, action, shooter, f fucking one player, multiplayer. It could be multiple, multiple section. What, what's your, what's your favorite type of games? G GTA. <laughs> of course. So like a free um, roam mini game multiplayer. Yeah. I enjoy, shooting I enjoy games. games like that. I enjoy, I enjoy shooting games in general. COD was fun up until they put all their focus on Vanguard. Then sadly, I'm just like... Oh. 
You didn't put cheese on mine. They messed up not. They messed up not remaining their focus late. in the Cold War. They should have kept their focus on Cold War. Cold War was a good game, and after they trashed it and focused on Vanguard, and now whatever bullshit is out, Modern Warfare 2. They. they, they bleh. <laughs> That's what I think about Call of Duty right now. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I wish Call of Duty was in a better state. Now that I see that zombie is gonna be added to Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Why the fuck? Helicopter. Why the fuck is zombies being added to Modern Warfare? <laughs> I don't know, but you sound like a goddamn helicopter. <laughs> Alright, the last time you watched WWE, so I know you're actively in this WWE right now. Yep, the last time was like a couple weeks ago. But me, on the other hand, I have not watched WWE since I was like... Psh, shit. Since I was in like maybe... 7th grade? Like 7th grade or around the age of like... 14, 13, 12. Dude, it's been a long time. Have dude. you ever seen it live? <clears throat> like, in person, though. Sadly. I have. Dude, around, like, the golden days of, like, Rey Mysterio, John Cena, Randy Orton, were, like, Triple H were all, like, big time. Shawn Michaels was still f wrestling. That was my shit. Show? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Big of course. Show? Yeah, he had his shit clocked by, by Mayweather. <laughs> <laughs> that was real too. A boxer. Mayweather wasn't actually supposed to hit him like that. If you uh, if you like go behind the scenes for the script or whatnot, Mayweather yeah. was not supposed to hit Big Show like that. And Big Show actually wanted to fight the shit out of him in real life. <laughs> like he was like, dude, I will fucking like squish you. <laughs> there was this like funny little script that he was like ripping apart a Mayweather doll. <laughs> he was like, this is you. He like tore it apart. What about? <laughs> What about Andre the Giant? Yeah, that was before my time, brother. Before my time too, but I still. Yeah, there's this one WWE game called like All Stars. That game was lit, in it. and he was in it. The Warrior was in it. He was Stone Cold. Dude, I love Stone Cold Steve Austin. He was a shit. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin. I liked him. Rey Mysterio, Jeff Hardy. John Cena. John Cena, yeah, he's up there too. Batista, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Randy Orton, Undertaker, Kane. Those are like the memorable people to me, you know? Right. That's just me personally, though. How about The Undertaker? It's sad that... Wasn't he going through like cancers and stuff? The Undertaker? I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was... That's why he eventually went bald... He was going through like so. cancer treatments, and that's why he eventually started slowly not appearing in the WWE besides WrestleMania. Yeah, it's mm. yeah, it's crazy. But I mean, I love the Undertaker. Yeah, he was he was a big thing, and when he finally lost, that shit, nah, bro. I stopped watching Rey Mysterio. I like Rey Mysterio. He, I've always been a fan of him. I have a couple of his uh, figures. Oh, for real? Yeah. I used to collect wrestlers, brother. So I used many. To collect the, I used to collect them, and I used to have the belts. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I have. I have a belt in my closet right now. Dead ass. I'll send you a picture after this podcast. That. Bet. <laughs> what belt though? Uh, what belt WWE Championship, I think. That's one of them, right? It just has like the big WWE um, sign on it, right? Yeah, all of them have the big WWE sign. Nah, because like the yeah. the not nah, the the uh the world one, the the world fuck the world champion. Yeah, that one's like red and has like the Earth on it or whatever, and then you got the tag team that both look the same. They all don't say WWE. It's the one that John Cena had most of the time, but before it started spinning. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we have to wrap this up. We actually made it pretty close to the hour. 
Hey Joe, do you recall already? when we started? Do you recall when we started? What time it was? Shit. I think we're getting close to the end of that. Yeah, we're getting close. What time is it? 5:02 here, so which makes it? Because our last message we sent was 6:47. 6:47 yeah. well, your time? We'll just start ending it just in case it cuts us off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. So not so oh, so much. Yeah, much. Thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in to another episode of the Psyche Chat Podcast. It's been fun, always, joined by the co-host, Elijah. Yo, yo, yo. And um, if you actually managed to make it this far into the video, thank you. Honestly. Don't we, forget we to love subscribe you dearly. to my channel. We love you dearly. If you, act, you, if you actually make it here, we love you. But uh, yes. as said, and I will repeat once again, leave a like and subscribe for more. This will let me know and Elijah know that we can continue doing the podcast. Even for the couple of people that like, leave a comment. Leave a comment. Say, hey, I liked. I liked the podcast. Look, I might not have a lot of feedback, but any feedback helps. Any at all. Trust right. me. It helps a lot. I usually just generally post what I want, but, you know, for this type of stuff, I, I want to steer towards what you all want. <laughs> Yes. You got some topics. Comment them down. Comment, start commenting some topics you all want to hear in the next podcast. Exactly. That's another thing, yeah. But uh, another thing, which I'm glad I had the remote right here. Elijah and I, if you go into the show selector, we wanted to start doing custom shows. Justin, also I talked to Justin about this. I want to be able to start hosting custom shows. If I want to host a custom lobby, I'm going to need to have, what, around 60 people? So there you go. There you have it. I need 60 people. And I just kicked Elijah from the fucking session. <laughs> well, thank you everybody so much for tuning in to this episode of Psyche Chat. Like I said once again, leave a like. Subscribe for more. I invited him back. He's calling me. I'm going to tell him I invited. There you go. You want anything? You want to say anything in the outro? Subscribe to my channel, Lil EJ. No, subscribe to Loki Jeremy. Thank you. All right, thank you for yeah. the shout out, Elijah. <laughs> uh, subscribe to Loki Jeremy too. You know. Yes, sir. Subscribe to both of us. Yes, sir. Subscribe. I don't know why your character just disappeared like that. Oh. I did. Because I was looking at the uh, the private lobby. We need sixty people. Alright, us two include Justin, we need fifty seven more people, so get the commenting and liking. Let's let's host a let's host a private lobby. Let's, let's let's get some good private lobby content and have some fun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. This is the actual final bye bye. See you bye -bye. all in episode four. Peace.